Hi, a few of the people I have given these fabric face coverings to have asked for instruction on how to put them on, how to wear them, how to take them off. Um, so this is a quick explainer on how to do that. First, let's take a look at the fabric face covering. We've got an outer layer of patterned fabric, a double inner layer of white lining fabric, um, and in between those two things there is a pocket, goes all the way through, um, like a kangaroo pocket on a hoodie, and that is for you to stick filter media in there if you want. I don't have any particular suggestions on what that should be. There are some reports coming out of Hong Kong that say paper, like household paper towel is like the perfect filter media. I haven't seen any peer-reviewed literature on that, so I don't have any like firm recommendations, but um, if that's something you want to do, there's a pocket for you to do it. If you're not interested in doing that, then um, that's fine, just ignore the pocket. Up at the top, at the bridge of the nose, there is a moldable, bendable wire for um, shaping it to the shape of your face. And on the inner surface of that uh, moldable wire, there is a strip of um, silicone elastic that helps uh, make a better connection between the skin along the bridge of my nose and the fabric face covering, which um, for me, because I wear glasses everywhere, is super important because I don't want my exhalations to come up and fog up my glasses because um, I like to be able to see. So the, let's start before we get into how to put it on, how to take it off and all that. Um, I'd like to start by just saying that the purpose of, the primary purpose of these fabric face coverings is to keep your germs from going out into the world. Um, so it's any way that you put it on and wear it so that it covers your nose and your mouth is great. Um, don't worry about doing it perfectly. Don't worry if you mess it up a few times. That's okay as long as when you are out in public, you are covering your nose and mouth, you are, you are doing your job. So just don't worry about the rest of it. Um, try your best, but if you mess up, it's okay. You're still getting most of the societal benefits just by covering your nose and your mouth. So that said, if you would like to um, don and doff in the proper way to do that, uh, let's, let's take a look at how. So the first thing you're going to do is start with clean hands and a clean fabric face covering. You're going to hold the fabric face covering in the palm of your hand with the outside facing down, the inside facing up, the nose piece up here by your fingertips, and the chin, the chin side, the chin edge down by the base of your palm. The two elastic straps hang down below the back of your hand. So, uh, so if you can see that. Next, you're going to just lift your hand. You're going to hold it in front of you. And you're going to lift your fabric face covering up to about where you want it to be on your face. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just you're going to put it in place. Next, you're going to take the bottom elastic, bring it up over your head to the back of your neck. If you have long hair or a ponytail, make sure that the elastic goes underneath your hair. It should go up against the skin on the back of your neck. Next, take the top elastic, lift it up, and you're going to put it about at the crown of your head. You want to make like an L shape almost here between the bottom elastic and the top elastic. Next, you're going to take both hands and just kind of mold the nose piece to fit your face. And finally, now while you still have clean hands and a clean face covering, make any adjustments that you need to to make it comfortable, get it where you want it to be. For me, an important part of this process is I gotta make sure that my glasses are in the right position and, and that the nose piece is a good fit so that I can do a deep inhale, deep exhale, and get minimal fogging on my glasses because there we go, that's pretty good. Um, because if I'm out and about and my glasses start fogging up, that means I have to reach up and like adjust things and that's not what you want to do. Um, so now you are ready to go out and do your grocery shopping, for example. Uh, as long as you are wearing it like this, covering your nose and mouth, 
you are doing it right. Good job. You do not want to be reaching up, touching your face. Like don't don't do that because you're touching all the dirty stuff in the grocery store. Don't don't go touching your face. Leave it as is. Do not wear it like this. See a lot of that. This isn't good. Don't do that. Also, do not when you come up to the checkout counter and the cashier is trying to like get your stuff through the register, don't pull it down to talk to the cashier. That's not good either. Remember, the primary purpose of these fabric face coverings is to keep your cooties into yourself. So as soon as you pull it down, you are sending all of your germs over to that poor cashier who just has to stand there and keep coming to work every day. So don't do that. Keep it up here. Keep it fit well and you'll be fine. When you do get home, after you've set your groceries aside and done whatever you need to do there and you're ready to take your face covering off, the first step to take it off is to wash your hands. You're going to wash your hands for a good 30 seconds under warm water with soap. Once you've done that, you're going to start with the bottom elastic. You're just going to bring it to the front. Next, you're going to take the top elastic and just lift the face mask and pull it away from your face. Um, it's really easy. Try it a few times at home before you go out and then you'll be really good at it by the time you get back home from the grocery store. Um, once you have your, your dirty mask, your dirty face covering here, you're just going to drop it in the laundry. Just just have a laundry bin ready and waiting and just put it right in so that next time you're running a load, you can wash your fabric face covering with it. Um, that's really all I have. I hope that this helps and I hope that you all stay safe and healthy.